Thank you for joining Effortless Attraction. My name is Evelyn McAleer. I'm the author of A Life You Want, Effortless and The Woman's Journey. I'm a life coach, business mentor and inspirational speaker. And my greatest value is making a difference in people's lives. So I hope through these podcasts, I can make a difference to your life. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, whoever can get to join in this Effortless Attraction podcast while I'm here by myself. And I was just thinking before I hit the record button, when I do my Friday lives on Facebook, when I hit that button, I know I'm live and away I go. And it's trust. I don't have no scripts or anything written out. And there is no going back because you're live and it's happening there and then. And you have to just keep going forward. But there's a difference. And I think people, when we pre-record, which this is, or when people pre-record videos, I actually believe it's a wee bit more difficult because um, there's not that accountability in yourself. And (laughs) perhaps the flow doesn't come as easily as it does when it's live. And strangely enough, people would feel that going live is more daunting than pre-recording because at least if I pre-record and I make a mistake, I can stop, I can delete, I can go on ahead again. But that leads me on to my topic. And again, there you go, Evelyn. Well done. Didn't know what the topic was, but the reflection of life. It's live. There's no pre-recording on it. And I think if we're always to strive for perfection... Um, would that be a long life? That if I'm not perfect today, maybe I can stop, delete, erase and hit record again. But if I hit live, that means you're going to see me if I make a mistake. You're going to see my flaws and all. You're going to see my vulnerability. And that can be fearful um, for a, a, a lot of people. It can be fearful for us all, of course. But I, I, it's that acceptance of ourselves and uh, that I'm perfect as I am, flaws and all, vulnerability and whatever else comes with it. And you know, anyone that has gone down the avenue of doing coaching, counselling or, or anything in that, everybody has come through a past. And, I, you know, no one, I know that anybody that I am even speaking with on my podcast that are making big differences to people's lives They've come through their own. That's sometimes what takes people on that course, that path, is that they get to transform what they have learned in life, perhaps to aid and assist someone else, and to come through our own pains and sufferings and sorrows, that we can have empathy with others that perhaps are experiencing something at the time. But Life certainly is definitely not. Can we put a pause on this? Or maybe on days is it that I perhaps can slow down, that I don't have to be going 100 miles an hour. Uh, And as people always say, it's not a dress rehearsal. It is live. I am alive. We are alive. But imagine if life was like that. I wonder today, would we hit pause would we delete we'll say I'll start all over again I suppose every day is a day of a new recording every day if something happened yesterday if something happened last year that I have learned from it I'll get another opportunity today to grow from that and to move on it's amazing it really is there's so many scenarios and outcomes outcomings and incomings in life and and so many people and we all do sometimes we question what's it about why am I here what is my purpose it's a big one that a lot of people come to me with what is my purpose I don't know my purpose I think our purpose is whatever feels right to you I don't believe that it has to be A a chore? Absolutely not, because when something becomes a chore or becomes joyless, that's not my purpose. Um, 
I think the ego will lead us many directions that I have to do this. This is the only option in order to gain an outcome. And I always trust, Should even if it's hitting a live button and I'm live, as we say every day, that I trust if I don't know today. I don't need to know, but I'm going to hand it over. I hand it over and surrender that today just guide me and show me. And if today is the day that I'm meant to take time for myself, well, so be it. And it, it's so beautiful today for when I started my morning off. And and sometimes, sometimes I forget to connect in. Sometimes I forget to um, have that conversation in the morning because I get so caught up on the time. I get so caught up on what I'm to do. I get so caught up on social media. I get so caught up on what I'm meant to post on social media. And those things are all distractions and they take me away from that connection. Of And that's the reason why I'm doing what I'm doing. I do believe because I always said and, and listened to that uh, guidance. But today, for example, when I started, it was, you know, I, I felt... To, that I can see God and I'm going to use the word God here and you can use whatever word it is that you wish universal energy, love inspiration, whatever the name that you choose to give it that to send to me today that I, I still feel that connection to feel that closeness to God because sometimes again we can't see it within ourselves and today has been a beautiful day and it's only a few hours into the morning time um, and actually someone that I reached out to to ask if they would like to be a guest on my podcast show and there's something about them I saw a video on social media and I connected with it and actually when he replied back there I got emotional because I felt a connection there I know this person is so grounded and there are days that I need that also in my life if I can't find it in myself but I, I definitely think in life that uh, for me, and I can't speak for everyone else, we get lost when we have a disconnection. We get lost in life. We go through a mist or a haze or a fog, a, a, a darkness of who am I, where am I, what's happening. When we get disconnected now, should that be either your faith or conversation, something that's greater than us? something that's greater than this and I absolutely 100% trust when I hand over all of those worries and concerns something always comes in and you know an example is it's our mobile phone if it's not connected to source it goes flat the kettle it's beautiful to look at but if it's not connected to source it won't boil the water if we're not connected to source we get lost. We're just, we're just a form. The phone is unusable. It's a phone. The kettle is unusable. It's a kettle. And we just become the form if we're not connected to source. So I have to be try and be mindful myself of a day that I am not connected to the distractions of that which is, which is ego based, um, the social media. The what will I wear? The how do I look? Um, the next podcast guest that I'd have. I have to be very mindful of that because then I think we step away from our authenticity if we, you know, don't make time to connect. Now, some people find meditation very difficult. And, you know, I think with meditation, it, again, it's very personal. However you choose it to be, however you connect to that it's greater than you. Um, I, I've always felt a love there. I actually get quite emotional when I see it because it's 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 a sacred place. It's a special place. Whether it's that I'm connecting to a higher version of myself, whether it's that I'm getting out of the way of the thoughts, or whether I believe that it is guidance from um, the all that it comes to me. And for me, I I get it through music. I connect through music. There are songs and you'll know there's certain music that you feel. But it, 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 humans 
wrote the songs and they may have written love songs about someone else but I feel it about God because I can relate those words to it I feel it through music and that's where I get my connection I can feel it also when I, I just have a conversation it doesn't have to be in prayer it doesn't have to be a litany of words that I was taught growing up it's an ordinary conversation it's the words that I know it's me being my authentic self it's me being vulnerable it's me if I have to sit and cry. It's me if I'm sitting given gratitude. But always remember that connection. Because if I disconnect, I get away off track. And I mightn't even notice the first day. I mightn't notice it the second day. But I start to notice it. And perhaps this is something for us all to sit and think about. I will notice when I am disconnected from my source, when I get irritated by something that comes up on social media that someone has posted, that someone has said, that it irritates me. I notice it when the slightest things start to get on my nerves. I notice it when I start to get angry with people. I have got disconnected from my source. Um, and, 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 you know, a good friend the other day was saying that they notice their form, their mood off, and then they asked themselves the question, what have you not been doing? And he hadn't been going out for his walks in the forest. That's where he feels his connection. That's his connection to source. Through the, in the forest and just that natural beauty. And he hadn't been doing that because again, he had gotten so attached to the distractions, to the multitude of business coming in to the invoices that were going out. He got attached to that. And so I think today just in, in this short podcast is I, for us all to remember, to remember, don't forget, you know, to connect to source, whatever it is for you. It's switching off. It's disconnecting from the things that don't always serve us. It's having a healthy balance in life. It's having that conversation with whatever outside of you. Um, it may be difficult, I don't know, if people think well, that's a bit daft talking to nothing that's there. But feeling, feeling doesn't have to see. Feeling just feels. <laughs> that's it. Feeling just feels. And, you know, or even if it's a connection. Uh, I know a person says I have more connection with animals than I do humans. Well, that's the energy there. And I am quite sure the ocean has washed out a lot of troubles and concerns of people throughout the centuries. Uh, it's wherever you connect. So if you're feeling a wee bit off kilter, and it's all right to have these emotions, you know, we all go through them. But to connect, to have that wee conversation, maybe that's why we need these emotions too. To remember, sit down, take time, be still and know. Let's have a chat. Give me your worries. What have you to talk about today? Let me help you. But in order to receive the help and assistance, release it and let it go. And let it resolve itself for the highest good of all concerned. I realise that. It doesn't have to turn out to be my way. It's just the ego saying, this is the way it has to turn out. This is the way it has to be. Rather than that trust, I trust that whatever way that this is all going to turn out let it be for the highest good of all concerned and should you need assistance or a sign or comfort or something today just let that go release it and just say can you send me someone today I'd love to see a wee message I'd need, can you just give me a wee nudge am I on the right track something's going to show up but just be mindful it's not what you're waiting on. Just be mindful and be open to everything that's coming into you to show you. Uh, because nothing is ever too far away from us. And that's the wee message today. Remember to remember to connect because I forget sometimes and, and then that's when when things go off. Ah, what have you not been doing recently? So, ladies and gentlemen, Thank you so much for your time 
today to listen in or whenever you get a chance to listen in. And I hope that effortless attraction is making a difference to your life in one way or another. And that I am, I am just so blessed for the amazing guests that uh, give me their time. I feel so, so blessed and I'm extremely blessed for Jim also that whenever we're doing video or sound that he's here. Isn't that amazing? I remember, <laughs> here's me saying I'm going to finish, manifesting. When I used to go into this connection of a place and uh, I always used to say that the man that would enter my life, that I share his dreams and visions as he does mine. And I couldn't have asked for anything more. Actually, I've been granted you know, the best, the best of the best. So I'm very, very blessed. So thank you so much for your time today. And uh, be sure now to check back on some of our other wonderful podcasts. And by all means, if there's anything that you want to reach out and ask or any ideas for future shows, send me a wee email. It's evelyn at evelynmacalear.com. Have a wonderful day. I want to thank you for your continued support to Effortless Attraction Podcast. I want to thank my paid subscribers. You make a difference to my work and to my life. And I hope through these podcasts, my mission is to make a difference to the lives of others. But with your help and subscription of £1.99 per month, you really do help support this work. If you'd like to become a paid subscriber, you will find the link in the main profile. Thank you so much.